Good morning, Internet. Nice to have you back. I hope you have a good day for now. You're the same active like me. I'm awake since six in the morning and already did some yoga and some nice coffee in a, in a coffee shop. I feel alive today. Whew. So, uh, after hours of working again, having problems with OBS and uh, the audio recording of Ableton, uh, Windows is really hard sometimes, but uh, I fixed it in an analog way. I just patch the output of my interface, like the monitor outs, back into the interface. So I just can record my stuff now. Today I want to talk again about the frequency echo, because Last time we was talking about this guy in a way how he works, like a frequency echo, you know? So you can have echoes and pitch them uh, up and down. But what I want to try today is showing you a little bit how you can use it as a crazy, really high quality phaser. Yeah, just like how to sound design a little bit with that device because it's uh, actually a free plugin that sounds really good. So I have a granulator here with like some cello and I would say we just we just give him one note uh, by the way here you can have the length so you can just put two and then you have two bars people telling me constantly they found out that I on the side tell them like really cool little tricks let's try to have more of it um, I want an LFO on uh, file position, so it swipes through the element, and then we have the sound. Maybe we let it spray a bit too. Okay, so now we have this element that is like moving and making sounds and we have the Valhalla on it. And what I want to show now is that you can actually use it as a phaser. So we put the feedback a bit higher, let's make 60 or something. And maybe that you can hear it, we go here a little bit down. And then um, I will just go in free mode and put the delay like a little bit up and then you hear what's happening. So you can hear that we're getting this like phasing effect that is extremely and then when we play with the shift of the frequencies he starts to oscillate himself because of the feedback and uh, the feedback oscillate in different frequencies different so we get this like kind of fm synthetic phase machine what is quite interesting
So you can play also with the mix down, so you have like still the, the, the main element coming through or you just have like 100% of the feedback right now. So I mix them now, but now we have a harsh sound, I just want to show you like fast if we like put maybe like, I don't know, let's say like a slink filter, give him like a little bit of movement and some ripples in the highs. You can see really easy how we get this like shrill, like how you say that in, in English, not shrill. Uh, this like noisy, intense sound and then you filter it and give him a movement with the filter. How instant you can have like a great sound design with like just these two tools. So what we can do is now we have like one Valhalla that we use like a phaser. Yeah, that's psychedelic as fuck. And then phaser on top. Filter. And then we put another delay. And there's our cello. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually the short little thing that I wanted to show. Nothing crazy today. Just like I was thinking maybe you didn't try out to use it as something else. So in that case, I just wanted to show that use it wherever you want as a nice phaser on top of each other, like play with it because it's a really nice device. In that case, I would say we, oui, my friend, see us soon. Uh, watch another video after this video. I give you two of the selection and uh, we see us next week. Have a blessing day and 